Hey everyone, my name is Madeline. I'm a super mentor here in Hemp Honors Program. And recently I was asked about, you know, what was it during undergrad? What were the biggest lessons I learned that helped me reach where I am now as a first year medical student? And this question really made me reflect on a few different things um, that I think were, I picked out three, three of the biggest lessons I learned that I think really helped me realize um, my purpose and reach where I am today um, as a first year medical student. So um, the first of which was that I realized that um, sacrifices are necessary at times. And uh, in order to be able to um, reach this kind of a level, um, sacrifices have to happen at times, whether they're small, like choosing not to go out one night with your friends because you have to study or um, a bigger sacrifice. And something like a big sacrifice that I had to make was uh, having to give up playing volleyball, after, which was something I had done all my life. And I played for two years at UW Lacrosse for my undergrad. And then after those two years, I decided to give it up because um, my junior year course load was insane. And um, I also had just gotten my CNA certification, so I wanted to start getting patient contact hours and um, work and maintain my GPA at the same time. And I just knew that there was no way that I was going to be able to um, do it all. And so volleyball was the thing that kind of had to go. And at first it was really difficult. Um, that was a huge part of my life and my identity as a student athlete. But um, over time, I kind of realized that for me, there is much more to life than just athletics. And um, I was able to get involved in a lot of different things and ex have a ton of experiences that I honestly wouldn't tra trade for the world. And I know that some of those experiences are also what helped me get into medical school. So um, all in all, like in high, hindsight, it was kind of a blessing in disguise. And um, the takeaway from that is that, you know, not all sacrifices have to be looked at in a negative light. I think um, there's definitely a silver lining and um, you might just not see it until after the fact. Um, the second lesson that I learned um, is to always remember the big picture. So um, during those, you know, finals weeks and when you're stressed about exams and doing well and trying to balance all of everything that you have to do, um, just try to remember, like, you know, why you started in the first place. Um, why, what is your goal in pursuing this career? Um, what, what's important to you? And um, just really try to keep things in a broad scope. Remember the big picture. Um, and remember that, you know, one bad exam score is not going to make or break you. Um, you can always rebound and don't let it get you down too much because um, there's always, you know, there's always another exam that you can ace and make up for it. So uh, the third piece of advice um, or kind of lesson that I had learned during undergrad was to enjoy the process. So um, as, as stressful as it can be, as busy as it can be, it's really important to not push off your happiness. Um, it's so easy to think like, oh, I'll be, I can breathe, I can relax, I can be happy once I do this, once I get this exam done, once I get accepted to medical school. Um, but, you know, that totally puts your current happiness um, and peace of mind in the backseat. And that's not something that's, you know, a good thing to do by any means. Um, just try to remember that, like, you know, this is all part of the process in getting to medical school or other graduate school programs. And your happiness now is important. And um, don't take it for granted and try to, you know, do things that you enjoy. Take the time to spend with friends and family and um, exercise, take care of yourself and uh, enjoy the th do the things that you enjoy doing at the end of the day. Um, because it's it's not worthwhile if you don't take the time to do that. But yeah, those were three of the biggest things that I learned in undergrad. And um, in being in med school now, um, I constantly am reminding myself of those three same things. So they don't necessarily go away by any means. Um, I'm always trying to remember like the big picture, like why am I doing this? Why am I here? Why am I supposed to be here? And then on top of that, um, you know, enjoying it, taking the time to get outside and hang out with my roommates and classmates and family and everything like that. So um, it's it's a lot to balance, but at the same time, it's definitely doable if you priorita prioritize your time the right way. So um, I hope this was helpful and encouraging, and um, I hope you hang in there and battle through whatever you're battling through right now. So thank you.